Upon your return to Kakariko Village, you witness this scene and start this action sequence. Hee, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Hop over this gate right here and move on. Yeah, that scene happens right when you enter Kakariko Village. Nothing happens between your path, I mean, your trek back from uh, Ordon Village back to here whatsoever. So I thought I would just cut to the chase, get to the action. Bring it on, baby! I don't think it, that guy's name there is said throughout the entire game. I could be wrong though, but his name is King Bulblin. Anyway, what you want to do, attack him! with your sword while on a no pay. You can either do it just by swinging your sword or with the swing attack, uh, spin, swing attack, with the spin attack. Uh, once you get close enough, of course. Gotta look out for his flunkies shooting arrows at you, well, fire arrows. Ah, there we go. Eh, go, go, go. You can also kill his flunkies as well, but I believe more will come regardless, so I just focus on the leader here. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Knock you off just because I can. Eh. Eh. Uh. Swing. Yeah. This is awesome, I have to say. I love these horseback battle sequences. I'm going to zigzag to avoid them. What? Completely. And ow. Ran out of whooping power, but that's okay. Eh. Always zigzag to make sure they can't get a lock on you with the arrows, if at all possible. Otherwise, you'll get knocked off an Ope. And also, if if uh, King Bulblin there is taking a turn, what you want to do is turn in a slightly tighter circle so that you can sort of hit him off, head him off in the pass, if at all possible. And there's really not much more I can oh, much more tips I can give you here. Stop knocking me off my horse. Urgh! <laughs> Let me get... <laughs> Definitely do not get knocked off an open. Got... Uh, let me get going here. <laughs> this is not going well. But that's okay, I suppose. Go, 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 go! And for some reason, he stops moving. I don't understand why, but, but it's just what he does. <laughs> I guess he wants me to catch up to him or, or something like that. I don't really think he attacks you all that much on his own, as opposed to his flunkies. Come on. So close. So close. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. There we go. <laughs> no! poop we're trapped all right for this phase of the battle my recommendation is that you lead him to one side then go to the other side and as you are approaching each other duck quickly to the other side and then use the spin attack to, to hit him like so and now when you get to the end turn back around this will happen automatically by the way yeah! Alright, let's repeat it. Right towards the edge. Duck to the left. Oh, I missed! But this is very, very safe to do. Come on. Come on, you can do it. But... There we go. <laughs> I don't know what the heck was going on there, but whatever. Yeah! Oh! Pooper scoopers. I got a little bit too close. I didn't duck enough to the left when I did that. I mean, I didn't turn enough to the left. But that's okay. What? Aww. Turn around. Come on. Please? I'm begging you. Why does it take her so long to turn around? I don't know. <laughs> also get enough speed as you get up there. There we go. And that's how it's done.
Bye bye, King Bulblin. Will we see you again? I guess we will never know. Epic pose! By the way, you do have to wonder why he didn't get knocked off the bridge with the king since he was essentially tied on, wasn't he? <laughs> Guess not. Unless I missed the point where he flopped off as I was battling him or something like that. Nor would I be. Yep. Oh yeah. And tuckered out. Well, she tried. Now, about those mines. Shall we finally get going? Link agrees. So, let's move on. I believe... Yeah, I'm going the right way. <laughs> I thought I was going the wrong way for some reason by the way that I was turned around. Wait, what, what do you have to say about this whole situation? Sure. Ah, okay. I wonder if this is the time that I'm able to go into that shop, actually. Let's see. I would really like to buy something that he has that- YES! This is exactly what I'm looking for. Ah! <laughs> yep, he decided to open up shop and... Why, just why does my Wii Remote Keep dying on me! Clearly it does not know the magic of friendship. <laughs> okay, I got another one here. Sure! Okay, so you can get a replacement wooden shield if yours burns. You can get a red potion to replenish your life energy if you have an empty bottle. And you can get this, and this is why you want 200 rupees. You will never need another shield again after getting this. At least I think. I don't think there's any more upgrades after this shield. Woo! And it is the only shield in the shop. Well, I mean the only Hylian shield in the shop, the metal one. So since it's met, Oh, I definitely will. And you did a great job of it. Though you're, uh... Prices are pretty steep. <laughs> I only had to pay like 80 in Ocarina of Time. So anyway, I don't... Wait, is it automatic? No, it's not automatically equipped. Let's do... Boop! Switch it over right away. And let's get going. Now your other shield is safe. You don't have to worry about losing that limited edition shield that you have there as well. Ever! Alright, let's move up the trail and go up the mountain. Uh... I did not want to do that, actually. I wanted to set him to B. 
Well, I guess I'll just leave them on that, on the right direction, on the uh, D-pad there. I don't have any tr trouble with that whatsoever. It's just that I have to press right instead of B, and I'm used to pressing B for items. <laughs> Alright, so... It's rematch time! And I noticed that I am at two hearts there because of my sloppy playing. Hopefully there will be hearts along the way. Or maybe I should have bought that red potion. <laughs> oh no, wait, wait, wait. I got that fairy, don't I? Yeah, okay, I'm good to go. Alright. Bring it on! Indeed I am. This time you won't be so lucky. That's what you think. Iron boots on! <laughs> and now, grab it with the A button just as you would do a goat, and... <laughs> Doodaloo! And hopefully I'll be able to get that heart before it disappears. Yeah! That's awesome. Gonna have to do a few more of these. Yeah. <laughs> Always fun to do. Take off your iron boots in between sets, otherwise it's gonna take you forever to get up this mountain. And here comes another one. Yeah! I totally mistimed the A button. <laughs> but whatever. Wait, wait. This, I think that ledge actually... I thought that ledge has something for me up there. Yeah! At least I think it does. I could be wrong, though. Hmm... Well, let's see if there's a heart under here first. Grab this. Oh, thank you! I had no idea what a blue rupee was. It's always nice to have those kinds of reminders all over the place, eh? <laughs> yeah, I don't... Ah, that ledge. I'm pretty sure there's something up on that ledge. Uh-oh. I hear it go here on coming. <laughs> <Toodaloo. laughs> I thought... Well, maybe I'm supposed to use a... Something to get up there. Like, maybe there is a, a Goron or something like that that I was able to get up there before. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's a heart piece on that trail, on, I mean, on this trail, and it's up there, and that's where I'm supposed to get it. I'm not sure completely. Uh, I'll get the heart piece eventually, you know that. Oh boy. Oh goodness. Oh gravy. <laughs> I'm not even gonna ow, bother with them whatsoever, because it's gonna take longer, and I'm gonna lose m more health than is necessary. Wait, these don't, these don't, these don't hurt me at all, so why should I say ow? It's more like a oof than an owl. Needless to say, Death Mountain is uh, quite angry as per the uh, Zelda tradition up there being if there's something amiss at Death Mountain, well, it's gonna be erupting. Oh, poop. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure this is how you're supposed to get up on that ledge on the trail, but... I'm sure there's nothing that I can miss, so I can always go back there later and, and do it, so whatever. <laughs> Alright, so what you're supposed to do with these Gorons, now that you're not in wolf form and you can't get up there normally, first avoid those rocks as they're erupting just by running around with the shadow. You see that? See in your shadow? Big one, big one, big one! It's quite the interesting fragment of lava rock, huh? <laughs> anyway, remember this thing. It's quite important. It's one of those odd things. Now, attack him. Or actually, you're supposed to be able to... I like... Ah, there we go. You're supposed to shield and then attack him like so. Ah! supposed to get on top of him to get on top of the ledge. <laughs> but first, you must dodge the, the boulders of doom, the flaming boulders of doom. Okay, point yourself in the direction you want to fly, and there you go. That's how you progress in this area at the moment. Uh, I'm going to see what you have to say. Ah, Z targeted a little bit late. <laughs> but that is okay. I just want to go up here. Was I supposed to do that? I just wanted to get up on that other ledge. <laughs> oh, whatever. 
I don't think there's anything under that heart. Wait, wait, am I? Yeah, this is correct. I think I'm going the right way. I'm trying to remember how to get through this place and- oh! If this doesn't stop steaming, I'm gonna have to do a ledge grab to get across it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. And then skittle my way across. And upsie daisy once it's clear. There we go. You there! Would you mind being my springboard? Ow. E. Thank you for being my springboard. Okay, now this one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I'm actually supposed to get past some of these with the iron boots. I don't have to uh, slid along the ledge like I was doing. Okay, that works. And I am low on health. I should be checking some crates, shouldn't I? <laughs> or at least some rocks, crates, whatever. Or, you know what's better, not getting hit. <laughs> eh. Now. Okay, hit me, and I'll hit you. Only Z target to have that shield up right away, and be ready to Z target this one right away. Yeah! Otherwise it's gonna knock you right off the edge. Come on, let me up. And will these barrels have some hearts for me? That would be very nice if they did. Yes! Uh, no! I do not want to start from the beginning. Oh. Anyway, go in here, <clears throat> and meet up with the rest of the Gorons. No! Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's true, I am very gentle, and caring, and loving. Ah, nice to meet you, Gore Koron. Thank you for stopping their assault. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, sort of. I come from Ordon. Oh. Well. Unless... What am I gonna do? What do I have to do? What's the conditions? Oh! Happy smile? Yes, I would. It's time to sumo once again! <laughs> iron boots on, by the way. Never forget about the iron boots. Oh, this is so awesome. Actually, I don't think it's going to give me enough time to do, to put on the iron boots at first. Yeah, this has to happen first. That's okay. He hints that you're too light in the red text there. So... <laughs> so heavy! Yes, I would. And this time, you'll not be so lucky. Strangely, when you're in these sumo wrestling things, you're just as mobile with your iron boots as you are without them on. I, I don't get that either. <laughs> and, uh, no, 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 no! I refuse to let you attack me so easily! And, oh, I should have dodged underneath his arms with the A button. I switch, switch to the side, and this time press the A button to go under him. No! Oh, he'd switch his pattern. I don't know his pattern. Maybe he doesn't have a pattern. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to go to the middle so I do not get knocked off to the ring. Oh, oh, that worked out sort of okay. Come on, I guess his pattern is a lot more random than Bo's. Oh, no, no, no. Swing. And outside. Yes, get thrown off. Oh, poopers. Get so close, so close! Yeah! I am a master sumo wrestler. And I weigh like 135 pounds. <laughs> Although his equipment is pretty 
heavy. I mean, you, you know, the boots, but you think that upper body strength would be rather important, but I guess not. That was awesome. That was fun. Why, yes. Hmm. Interesting. Indeed I do. And this has what been what has been going on. I shall. And that is the entrance to the Goron Mines, the second dungeon in the game, of which I'm going to be doing in the next part. But there's a little, there's a little something that I would, I would like to unlock for later, which I'll show you right now. He will now let us use that elevator. What? I was I was heading right towards him, and yet, what? It's like I teleported there during the cutscene and, well, whatever. This is the thing that I wanted to show you here. Step on the flip switch, use the iron boots. You can go down back to the bottom of the mountain anytime that you would like and vice versa. It's very, very handy that this is unlocked for you. Anyway, I'm going to go back up to the mountain to start the next dungeon in the next part. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you then.